Hello and welcome. You are tuned on to TV One Pentathlon Season Two. Well, here we are again today to, to bring you some amazing experience on the stage of TV One Pentathlon. But today we are just to remind you that we are in level two, which means the top 16 schools in the island are competing against each other just to get closer and closer to the grand finale. And today too, we will guarantee you some amazing experience while you are tuned on to TV One Pentathlon on season two. I think, Krishma, you would agree with me. Yes, indeed. And today's match is truly going to be extraordinary because we have girls from Colombo pitted against the boys from Gaul. So without further ado, let's get started by introducing the two schools to you. And today, let's start off with the boys, shall we, Joel? Okay, let's start off with the boys. Let's give uh, boys preference in introducing them. Yeah? Okay, so okay, let's go. Let's do that. We have Richmond College, Gaul. Jubilant, welcome to the boys uh, all the way from Gaul, Richmond College. I think it's right about time that we find out who are ready and here to give a good game for the boys from Gaul. So let's put our hands together for the girls from UCS College, Colombo. Well, we now have the boys and girls on stage, and it is, of course, Musius and Richmond College taking on each other. And we are yet to see how the schools will take on each other and who will get closer to the grand finale of TV One Pentathlon Season 2. Krishma, how do you break the ice today? So let's start off by asking the girls now. Um, okay. We have Benduri here from UCS College Gaul. How has your team been preparing for level two? Uh, we've been practicing a lot the last uh, the last few days, and we hope to give a good game and do our best too. Fantastic! All right. Okay, so they say practice makes perfect, and let's see if their practice session will pay off on this stage. It's not right if we don't give a chance to the boys as well to express how their preparation has been. So let's shift our attention uh, to the captain of uh, Richmond College and ask him, how are you ready to give a fight to the girls? So the last few days, it was a tough challenge to us. It was a big schedule for us, but we did our practice as well and we hope to give a good fight and have a great time. So with all that, but still they managed to gear their minds, their heads, their physical activities all together and they are ready on this very stage to take on and give a good run to either of the schools. Yes? Okay, so we need a good game, a good judgment is of course required. For that, we have an elite panel of judges and today too, it's time for us to get introduced to our panel of judges. First on the panel is Ishani Vettasinghe, Assistant Director of Education, National School Judge. Well, also joining on the panel is KGC Maheshika, Assistant Director of Education, National School Draft. And now that we have our judges introduced, it's time to kick start things off here on level two of TV One Pentathlon with the tossing of the coin. So maybe now invite one of our judges to please join us, as well as invite both the captains to join us front and centre. Well, here's the decide in my hand, the toss with TV One and Pentathlon on either side. Benduri, how was it last time? Did you all win the toss? You all lost the toss and you all had to go first. Yes. And what about you, Himanshu? Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Okay, so, but today, one will have to follow, one will have to lead. So, who do we go with first? Since we call you all first on stage, shall we go with the girls? No problem. No problem at all? Okay, no problem at all. What's your decision? Pentathlon, sir. Pentathlon it is, which means you will be going with? TV1. No choice. Okay, right. So, let's see. On whose favoring side the toss works on. Are we ready? Okay. Three, two, one. It's Pentathlon, which means favoring side for the girls from Muses College. What's your decision? Um, we will be going first. You'll be going first. Yeah. And you will have to? Follow them. You will have to follow the girls. Just for the sake of doing that, right? Yeah. 
why have you, why do you have a sad face? Because I thought of going first too. So <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to go first, but keep the hopes high. Samples okay. when you follow, it leads up to victory. Yeah. Okay, with those high spirits, we are all ready. Krishma, what do we do now? What do we do? Well, we thank our judge for joining us and invite both of them to shake hands and get the game started. Well, the girls won the toss for Muses College and the boys said that they had hoped that they will follow in each uh, and everything. But however, the toss didn't work the way they wanted. So which means the girls from Muses will be going in first in each and every round and the boys from Richmond College Golf will be following the girls in each and every round. So why wait? Let's start off level two of TV1 Pentathlon with the first match for the day, which we call Balance Your Quiz. <laughs> In our first round, each of our teams gets to send forward three core players and they have a challenge to answer five questions within a span of 30 seconds. They have to do all of that while balancing a table tennis ball on a table tennis racket. It's time for us to find out from Muses College who their three core players are. So let me shift your attention to Venduri. Venduri, who are your three core players? It'll be me, Nevanya and Sonari. And who's coming in first? Me. The captain steps forward. Let's put our hands together. <laughs> well, ben Durie, you're the first to take stage today. And uh, how does it feel? Um, I don't feel anything, actually. You don't feel anything? <laughs> okay. Probably the end of this, you might feel something. Yeah. Okay. So you know how it works. Nothing new to you. You've got 30 seconds on the clock, just like every other game in this round. Are you ready? Yeah. You're ready. Okay. So let's start in three, two, one, go. In which Disney film do you find Ursula the Octopus Witch? Little Mermaid. Correct. Bass Strait is located in which ocean? Um, Antarctic. Wrong. Pacific. Which city's Olympic Stadium was nicknamed Bird's Nest? Uh, China's. Beijing. Correct. Who first invented a magnifying glass in 1250? Pass. It's Roger Bacon. Which country in the world has the least media freedom at present? North Korea. Correct. Your questions are up. Well, that's how Ben Duri from Museus uh, put on the game. Let's move on to the boys from Richmond College and ask uh, Imansu who his three core players are. Uh, Imansu? So it's going to be Sudam, Chanupan and myself. And who's coming in first? I'm going to come first. The captain against the captain. Let's see how it works out. Come forward. <laughs> Imansu, do you recall last time? Yeah. What happened? I said to the last one, last question, I said the other side. You learn from your mistakes. No? Yes, so let's yes. see how it goes. Okay, Thank so you've got 30 seconds to deal with. Are you ready? Yes. Your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Title character of the Disney film Bambi is which type of animal? Stag. It's a deer. Hudson Strait is located in which ocean? At Atlantic. Correct. World's biggest soccer stadium, Rangrajo Mede, is located in which country? South Africa. Wrong. It's North Korea. Who first invented a hydrothermometer in 1593? Galileo Galilei. Correct. Which country is the world's biggest uranium producer? Kazakhstan. Correct. Your questions are up. Okay, so that's how the first uh, boy from uh, Richmond College performed. Let's move on to Benduri and ask her who her next co-player is. Benduri. It'll be Chanari. Okay, let's put our hands together for us. So you got 30 seconds and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Who won the Best Actor Oscar this year? Uh, Gary Oldman. Correct. How many Apollo space missions were launched? 13. Wrong. 12. What is the capital of Wales? Edinburgh. Wrong. Cardiff. Saina Nehwal was popular in which sport? Badminton. Correct. Name the current Prime Minister of Canada. Justin Trudeau. Correct. Your questions are up. Let's progress in to the next player of Richmond College Golf. Who is coming in? It's going to be Sudam. Come forward. You've got 30 seconds to deal with. And the time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Who won the Best Actress Oscar this year? McDonald. Wrong. It's Francis McDormand. First Apollo space mission was launched in which year? 1961. Wrong. 1967. What was the capital of Scotland? Edinburgh. Correct. Sanya Mirza was popular in which sport? 
Gymnast. Sorry? Tennis, tennis, tennis. Tennis. Tennis is the correct answer. Name the <laughs> Your time's up. Well, there was a little bit of a confusion there. Yeah. So you said gymnastic first and then you changed your mind to tennis. Tennis. But only the first answer which you say out is counted. So no points awarded. Okay. Right. Okay, there's more games to progress. Let's see what happens. And it's time for us uh, to move on to Mises College and ask the captain who's coming in next. It will be Nevanya. Nevanya comes forward. Let's put our hands together. <laughs> so, you're ready. You're the final player for this round. Okay, so your time starts in three, two, one, go. Who is known as the father of Burma? Us. On San. Hepatitis affects which organ in the human body? Liver. Correct. Name the capital of Slovakia. Bratislava. Correct. Rajang is the longest river in which country? Pass. It's Malaysia. Tennis champion Martina Navratilova is a citizen of which country? USA. Correct. Your questions are up. Well, it's time for us to move on to the final player of Richmond College Call and uh, Himansu. Who's your final player? It's going to be Chanukha. Come on. There you go. 30 seconds to deal with. Your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Who is known as the father of Cambodia? None of them is here, no? Correct. Typhoid fever affects which organ of the body? Nervous system. Wrong. It's intestine. Name the capital of Ethiopia. Addis Ababa. Correct. Karun is the longest river in which country? Afghanistan. Wrong. Iran. Tennis champion Steffi Graf is a citizen of which country? Germany. Correct. Your questions are up. There you go. You saw how the game was worked off. Both teams put on an equally, I would say, good performance with their questions uh, being uh, dealt with properly with some great answers coming around. And we need to see how the schools have scored at the end of the first round because we got some more exciting rounds just for you. But first, let us bring the results and be right back after this short break. Remember, you are watching Level 2 of TV1 Pentathlon Season, Season 2. two. Welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2 and we are at the end of Round 1 between Muses College Colombo and Richmond College Gaul. We have with us the scores to tell you how the schools have been faring at the end of the first round. Let's get started by finding out how Richmond College Gaul has done. In the first round, they scored themselves 35 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls from Muses College Colombo in the first round have scored themselves 45 points. Well, there you go. You heard the results. Muses College Colombo seems to be taking a lead at the end of the first round. And uh, there's a shortfall of around 10 points between uh, the two schools. But things could change as we progress in rounds to come. Well, it's time for us to get into a very creative, a very exciting and a very much awaited round, which we call the second round. And it is called Express. To impress. <laughs> of our favorite rounds because in round two our students get to express their creativity right here on stage they will be provided with a story lead which they then have to act out using their imagination as well as presentation skills and they have to impress our judges who will be marking them in this round so without further ado let's go over to the girls and find out what's the topic that they pick for themselves A long time ago, there lived four little rabbits with fancy names, Flopsy, Cottontail, Peter and Mopsy. They lived under a very big fir tree in a sandbank. And then... Ooh, what a nice river. It's not a shady tree. But we shouldn't go near the river, otherwise one of us will fall. Yeah, that is true. God. Guys, 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 I got a lot of carrots from that meadow over there. They're so pretty. Look at them. Carrots. I want I want to. I want one too. Ooh, what a nice river. Maybe I should fish here, you know. That's a new 
human. It's a human. <gasps> we, we should no, run. We should run. We should go. go. Ow. Oh, 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 see. Oh, oh, see. Oh, She's oh, drowning. Oh, 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 I should. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go there. We wait, go wait, there. wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'll try going in. No, no don't. Do uh, uh, the, 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 the human. No, no, not that's not them. an option. It's dangerous. Yes. If I was tall enough to get that branch in the fir tree. Oh, oh. Little rabbit, little rabbit. Oh, it's drowning. It's the fir tree. Hide, 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 hide. Maybe if I get a branch from here and, and put it into the water, he could climb up. Little rabbit, little rabbit. Little rabbit, come on. You can do it. Little rabbit, are you okay? Do you need drying up? Maybe you should go home safe, okay? Go to your family, be safe. Mopsy, Mopsy, are you okay? Are you? Yes, I'm oh. okay. Oh, I yes. was so scared. Did the human hurt you? No, he is we good. We thought he hurt you with that stick. Yes. Oh, God, we were so the scared. Human? How yeah. did we help her? Yes. Ah, that human helped me. But did we, did we misinterpret the human? I thought humans were bad. They kill us. Yes. But then oh. maybe some are good. His face even looks nice. He seems kind. Well. We have our little Mopsy safe. Do do? Mm. We should oh. warm her up now. Come ah, on now. Okay, right. Let's go home and play a little more. God save oh. the human. Okay, right. So that's how they put their performance up on the stage. Well, they say they're happy about their performance, but we are not to give the judgment out because we got an elite panel of judges for that. But first, we also need to see how the boys fare. Are they equally better or are they even better than the girls or are they slagging? Let's find out, but first they need to pick their topic. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful and extremely amiable girl named Lochna. She was a good girl, but she never liked her name as all the kids around her made fun of her name. She ran away from everybody who teased her name and then... Oh my friend! Did you see Lochana? That Lochana! What a stupid name it is! <laughs> if I was born of mother, I had her such a stupid name. Lochana, Gochana, what a stupid name it is! I hate this name! <laughs> this name is a burden to me! Lochana! <laughs> I'm gonna change my name this instant. I can't live with this name. <laughs> Are you gonna help me? Yes, of course. No one can help you, guys. <laughs> Lochana. Uh, Noel. Uh, Ochana. Nah, no Ochana. Chana! <laughs> but it's gonna be a, it's an Indian name. Yes, Is of it? course. Excuse me. Hana. No, I don't want to be that girl from Frozen. No. Frozen. No, no. no it's Wait a second. It's Anna! Yes, of course, it's good. <laughs> Anna. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> it has been 15 years. He changed her name into Anna. And now she's become the world famous musician. Oh my friend, did you see her? The most famous guitarist in the world. That Anna. Yes. Shall we shall we have a signature? Yes. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Can I have a signature? Friend. Can I have a signature? <laughs> Jenna? Jenna? What's that? Yeah. I have a sense of that name, sir. Yeah, you must. Can you remember how you teased me when I was a child? <laughs> Even oh, though you teased that old me. Friend. Even though you teased, teased me, I never gave up life. But Lord, I went to uh, my dream, even though what difficulty I had. And you must remember that name is not going to decide. Lord, Jenna, I... I <laughs> That's how we have a little bit of uh, fun uh, of uh, the given time boundary and limit. It's time for us, Prishma, I think it's time for us to find out. Yes, indeed. It's time for us to find out from our judges how our two teams have fared and whether our students have expressed to impress. So let's ask the judges what their verdict is. Actually, both teams performed well. We would like to congratulate both teams. We have given marks following these. Uh, creative thinking and imagination presentation and diction, building the story up and conclusion. Accordingly, 
Musius College gets 78 marks. Richmond College gets 85 marks. Well, we have the scores now at the end of round two, and we see Richmond College Gaul with a total so far of 120 points. Meanwhile, we see Musis in the lead with 123 points. Well, the point table looks a little bit scary. Why do I say that? Because the points are just three points away, away from each of the schools. Well, Musis is in the lead, but Richmond is just three points behind. Things could change. Things could get even more exciting. Well, when the points table is such, the game gets very interesting. What do you say, Rishma? Yes, indeed. It's time now for us to move into our next round to see how things turn. Well, yes, we call it the third round, and it is indeed a very interesting round. We call it Word the Basket. <laughs> In our third round, each of our teams gets to set forward three co-players. They're then given a word that is 12 alphabets long, with several of the alphabets locked. In order to unlock an alphabet, they need to successfully net the ball into the basket. Each successful netting gives them 10 points, and if they're then able to correctly guess the word, they're given a further of 70 points. Well, we are ready because we just heard the rules and regulations and I think it's right about time that we start the third round, which we call Worth the Basket. But before that, let's start off with Muses College and ask them and see what number they pick out. This is word number four. Well, the captain of Muses College picked out word number four. Before we see what the word is, let's ask Benduri who her three co-players are. It will be me, Nevan and Tisuri. Okay, so we heard who the three co-players are. Let's take a look at word number four. We have a space to start off with A, two spaces P, two spaces A, two spaces N, and another space at the end. Well, Benduri, who will be coming in first and what is this letter she would like to unlock? It will be uh, Nevanya and she will be going for the first one. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Well, that was an unsuccessful attempt, which means it will remain locked. Benduri, who will you be sending in next and what is the letter you would like unlocked? It will be me and it's for the third letter, which is the first blank. Okay, Benduri, here you go. Three, two, one, go. Well, it was nearly a basket, but however, it was unsuccessful. Benduri, are you going to send in your final player? Yes, it will be Tisari. And what is the letter she would like unlocked? The letter after P. Okay, Tisari, try your luck. <laughs> okay, so that was a successful basket. Uh, Benduri, are you going to send in more players or are you going to decide what the word is? Um, we'll be sending in the fourth player. Okay, and what's her name? Uh, it'll be Chanuri. And what is the blank? The letter before A. Okay, come forward. Three, two, one, go. Well, sending in more players and not being able to net the basket, which means it is going to be negative marking. Then, Duri, what's your choice? Are you going to send in another player? We'll be sending in the fifth player. Okay, Thanks. and what is that space you would like unlocked? Um, the letter after A. Okay, the final player, come forward. <laughs> Two, one, go. Well, that was an unsuccessful attempt, which means the players are all <laughs> done and negative marking has already been awarded to Mises College. But let's see whether they could capitalize in deciding what the word is. Are you all ready to say what the word is? Okay, so let the countdown begin. Five. Decided. Four. Three. Two. One. You 
Genesis College, Colombo. Your time is up and no points awarded, but negative points because you sent things to our Well, the girls were not able to guess what the word was behind these hidden letters, but it's time for us to reveal what the word is. Well, paraphrasing it is something very common and known when we undertake a lot of assignments. Okay, so hopefully, but did you even think about something like that? No idea at all. Okay, so now it will always stick in your head. Yeah. Okay, great. So let's move on and find out whether the boys are able to do it better or whether they stick to the same. But before that, we need to see what the number they pick is. This is word number three. Okay, so Himansu from Richmond College picked out word number three. We'll ask him who his three core players are for Worth the Basket. Who are your three core players? So it's going to be uh, Shanupa, Sudam and myself. Okay. So let's take a look at word number three. We have a space to start off with. N, two spaces R, two spaces U, two spaces again a U, and a space at the end. Well, that is what they have to work on. And Imansu, who is coming in first and what is the letter he would like to unlock? So it's going to be uh, Chanuka for the first flag. Okay, Chanuka, try your luck. <laughs> Ready? Okay, three, two, one, go. Well, that was a good first attempt for the boys from Gaul. Let's see if they continue with the ones they are doing right now. Himansu, who is coming in next and what is that letter you would like unlocked? What it's is going it? to be the le uh, letter after R. The letter after R and who is coming forward? It's going to be Sudha. Three, two, one, go. Well, the boys seem to be doing really good when netting the basket. Let's see if it continues. Himansu, who are you going to send in next? And what is the letter you would like unlocked? You need to make your decisions quickly because we are working against the time. Okay, so it's going to be the letter before the R. The letter before R and who is coming forward? Uh, and I'm going to come. Okay, let's see if you're able to net the basket. Come forward. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Well, all three successful attempts capitalized by the boys from Gaul. Let's see if they're able to guess the word. Are you going to decide what the word is or are you going to send in additional players? Himansu? Additional players or are you going to decide what the word is? Additional players and players. You're going to send an additional okay. player? Letter Let's between the two you. Come forward. <laughs> two, one, go. Well, he sends in an extra player as well, but however, he was able to net the basket, which means they are able to now discover what that letter was. Himansu, what's your call? Are you going to send your final player? Are you going to decide what the word is? Additional uh, player? Yes, we are going to send the additional player. Okay. Before and what is the letter? Because I'll be starting my countdown, which means all your effort will be of no use. Letter between N and C, that means the first blank. Okay, and who's coming forward? It's gonna be Osha the. Okay, Osha the final player. Let's see if it works well. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Sending the final player didn't work off very well for the boys from Richmond College. Now you are down to deciding what the word is. Yeah. We have decided the word. Spell it out and read the word out. No, you haven't seemed to be yeah, uni corruptious. Uni corruptious. How do how do you spell it? Uh, it's U N I C R U P U T E U R. 
You all had three successful attempts. Your additional players worked off well, but the final player you didn't capitalize on that, which means you already have negative points. You're sweating as well, just like last time. I remember from last time. Okay, time's up for us to see if unique corruption is a word which exists or is it a new addition. Let's find out what this word is. Well, you all saw what the word is. However, Richmond College goal was not able to capitalize, but it was a successful attempt in netting the basket. However, negative points are also awarded because the final player is not able to score the basket. Well, both teams are on the same boat, I believe, but there could be more negative points for Musius or even less negative points for Musius. More points for Richmond. We need to find out. All of that and much more will come your way as we bring you the results and more exciting rounds await you. This is TV One Pentathlon Season 2. <laughs> Welcome back. You are watching TV One Pentathlon Season 2 and we just got done with three very interesting rounds between Richmond College Gaul as well as Musius College Colombo. We now have the results at the end of round three. Let's find out how the girls from Musius did. Well, in round three, unfortunately, they scored themselves negative 10 points, but that brings their total up to 113 points. Meanwhile, the boys from Richmond College Gaul in round three have scored themselves plus 20 points, and that brings their score up to 140 points. difference in the points table because just before heading to a break and just before you read the points, Trishma, didn't I tell that there might be a slight change because in uh, the previous round there was negative scoring and hence there's a reduction in points but still the schools could capitalize on the new two rounds to come because there's a chance for them to add on to the marks which they have already got. So it's time for us to move on to what we call a latest edition with a twist in level two of TV1 Pentathlon season two. And it's time for us to get started with the fourth round, which we call Target. Your knowledge. In round four, each of our teams gets to send forward three core players. These players then have an opportunity to swing the golf club and hit the golf ball into any one of the holes which correspond to a particular subject from where they will be then asked a question. Each correct answer gives them 25 points. If they choose to double and get the answer correct, they will get 50 points. But if they choose to double and answer incorrectly, there will be negative points. Well, there you go. Those are the rules and regulations of round four in level two TV1 pentathlon. This is the latest edition, which we call the mini golf course in the studio. But the subjects remain the same. So let's take a look at what these colors represent. On uh, blue, we have sports and games. On green, we have geography. On purple, we have literature. On yellow, it's art and entertainment. History represents orange. And red is for science and technology. And of course, there you go, the lucky one, the Trump, which we call where you could select any of those subjects, which I just mentioned. Why wait? We have now known what the rules and regulations and how the game goes. It's time for us to focus our attention to Benduri from Muses College and ask her who her three co-players are. Let's find out. Benduri? It'll be me, Vinoda and Nevanya. Okay, and who's coming in first? Me. The captain steps forward. <laughs> Benduri, are you ready? Okay, three, two, one, go. You got two more chances. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Well, she capitalized the second attempt and got it on purple, which is literature. You've got literature. Would you like to go in for a double? Yes. Yes, they're going in for a double. Let's hear a round of applause for that. <laughs> All right, let's now take a look at your video. American author of Bengali descent won the Pulitzer Prize for her first short story collection and her first novel, Namesake, was adopted into a Hollywood movie. Name her. 
Your options are A. Kiran Desai, B. Nayantara Sagal, C. Jumpa Lahiri, or D. Anita Desai. The answer is C. Jumpa Lahiri. How confident are you about this? 100%. 100%. And that's for a double. So let's see if this really works out for them. The correct answer is C. Jumpa Lahiri. That's 50 points. There you go, indeed. Some decisions made right, works off very well. And there you go, we saw just a minute ago how Lucy's College capitalized on the opportunity of getting a double and the correct answer. Well, we'll see how the boys put it up from goal and it's time for us to focus attention on you, Himansu, and ask him who his three core players are. Himansu? It's gonna be Kusal, Oshinder, and myself. Okay, and who's coming in first? Uh, Kusal. Kusal comes forward, let's put our hands together. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Well, he got a trump on white, which means the captain has the whole of freedom to select what subject they prefer. Let's shift our attention to him. Answer. What is the subject you prefer? Uh, it's going to be sports. So you've got sports. Would you like to go in for a double? No. No. Okay, no problem. Let's take a look at your visual. Olympic skating star became infamous for orchestrating an attack on her rival skating star Nancy Kerrigan in 1994. Name her. Your options are A. Shaina Lubinsky, B. Jennifer Flowers, C. Michelle Williams, or D. Tonya Harding. Uh, the answer is D. Tonya Harding. How sure are you about this? 88.8. <laughs> All right, let's hope 88.8 .8 works in your favor. The correct answer for this question is D, Tonya Harding, absolutely right. Okay, right, uh, so there you go. The boys able to capitalize on the opportunity. Did you ever think it would have been better if you went for a 50? What? For a doubling? In win, no? <laughs> if, we, if I feel so, I will double that. But at the okay. moment, I don't feel like it. At the moment, you don't feel like Okay, let's see if he gets that feeling in time to come. Right, let's move on to the girls for Muses and Aspen. Duri, who her next place? It'll be Minoda. Okay, come on. Are you ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Two more attempts. Three, two, one, go. Unsuccessful attempt, the final one. Three, two, one, go. Two unsuccessful attempts capitalized on the final one and it is yellow, which is art and entertainment. You've got arts and entertainment. Let's take a look at your visuals. Identify this comedian who has been a judge in hit reality show America's Got Talent for nine seasons. Your options are A. David Hasselhoff B. Simon Cowell C. Howard Stern or D. Hobie Mandel The answer is D, Howie Mandel. D, Howie Mandel is the correct answer. Well, it seemed to be a very easy uh, one for the girls, for Muses. Let's see how it works off for the boys. Himansu, who is coming forward? Uh, it's going to be Ocean. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Well, he never gave up in uh, getting the trump, and therefore, they have the liberty of selecting any of the subjects. Once again, it is a trump for them, and let's ask the captain, what is the subject? Imansu, what would you uh, select? It's going to be literature. Literature it is. Okay, let's see what they get. So you've chosen literature. Would you like to go in for a double? <laughs> no. 
No, okay, let's take a look at your visual. Identify that famous author. You want the options? <laughs> A, Mark Twain. B, Alexander Dumas. C, Arthur Conan Doyle. Or D, Charles Dickens. C, Arthur Conan Doyle. C, Arthur Conan Doyle. C, Arthur Conan Doyle is the correct answer. Himansu, Himansu, do you still feel like you would have got that double? Yes. Why didn't you get the double? I was not feeling like taking the double. <laughs> you only have three chances to get that feeling. Yeah. You only have another one last chance to get the feeling. Let's hope you at least get the feeling in the final one. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's move on to the final attempt of the girls from McLumbo Music College, Kenduri. It will be Nevanya. Nevanya, come forward. Three, two, one, go. A clean wipeout, that was, it was Trump, and they had the luxury of selecting any of the subjects. Let's see what they pick out. What's the subject you'd like to go for? Uh, it'll be sports. Sports, all right. Let's take a look at the visual. He was the first bowler to take 500 test wickets. Name him. Your options are A, Kirtley Ambrose, B, Courtney Walsh, C, Malcolm Marshall, or D, Michael Holding? Okay. Uh, the answer is B, Courtney Walsh. B, Courtney Walsh. And are you sure about your answer? You are? Okay. So you've answered B, Courtney Walsh, and that is the correct answer. Okay, so I'm shifting to uh, Himansu, hoping that he will get the feeling of uh, double. Let's see who is going to come forward. I'm going to come. You're going to come yeah. forward. Okay, so he's coming forward. Let's put our hands together. Okay, three, two, one, go. Well, he aims at yellow, which we call art and entertainment. Let's see how it goes for them. Arts and entertainment, would you like to go in for no. the double? No. No, not getting the feeling yet, I'm sure. All right, let's take a look at your visual. Name this Grammy Award winning American singer, songwriter and pianist who is also the daughter of Indian sitar player and composer Ravi Shankar. Your options are A. Cheryl Crow B. Nora Jones C. Alicia Keys or D. Avril Lavigne? Time is ticking. The answer is B. D. Avril Lavigne. B. 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 Nora Jones. B. Nora Jones. Have you heard of this singer before? No. You've not heard, so this is completely a guess. Okay, a complete guess. They've said B, Nora Jones. That is the correct answer. You don't see, you don't know, you don't know from where they have ever come, but you're able to guess the answer. That is how the boys were able to put it up. And I believe we are all waiting to see how the result in the scoreboard looks like because there seems to be a drastic change because there was a doubling. Then there was the other side who didn't want to double but got the answers right. Let's, without much further ado, find out what the points look like at the end of four exciting rounds. Well, here we have the scores at the end of round four. Let's start off with Musius College. In round four, they scored themselves a full 100 points and that brings their total up to 213 points. Meanwhile, Richmond College Gaul in round four scored themselves 75 points, but that brings their total up to 215 points.
Well, it is a beautiful scoreboard today as the girls and the boys have now been able to surpass the 200 mark. Well, we don't call this easily level 2 of TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. We call it level 2 for a reason. Just look at the scoreboard. Just three points away. Two. Just two points away. And things could change. Things could remain constant because the next is a crazy round it is where we all measure it's all come down to a part where we measure your knowledge okay so without much further let's get on to the fifth and final round which we call the buzzer round we're now in the fifth and final round the buzzer round the rules are very simple we have 10 questions and each correct answer gives the team 10 points so let's get started with question number one Pedro Alvarez Cabral discovered Brazil discovered Brazil in which century? That was the incorrect answer. 50th century. 1-5 is the incorrect answer. Question number two. Which country's parliament is known as the Neset? Sudan. Israel. Israel is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number three. Yucatan Strait separates Cuba, Benduri, Mexico. Mexico is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number four. What is the pH value of human blood to the... 7.3. To the nearest decimal point. 7.3 is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number five. Name the world's first cinemascope film. The robe. The robe is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number six. What does IAAF Nevania? Uh, International Association for Athletic Federation. What does IAAF stand for in athletics? International Association of Athletics Federation is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number seven. League of Nations was founded in... Benduri. 1920. Was founded in which year? 1920 is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number eight. Who created the world's most popular musical, Cats? Chanuri. Andrew Lloyd Webber. That's the correct answer. Question number nine. 2028, summer... Sudan. Los Angeles. <laughs> 2028, Summer Olympic Games will be held in which city? The correct answer is Los Angeles. <laughs> and we're now down to the final question. Question number 10. A special military unit from which country is in charge of security? <laughs> Benduri? Switzerland. In the Vatican. And the correct answer is Switzerland. Well, Rishma, it was a lot of excitement, nail-biting excitement, because both schools were just firing at each other and wanting to see who would be pressing that buzzer right about first in order to get the answer. Some didn't even, com you didn't even have to complete the question. The answer was just spot on. Well, that's how things work because we are in level two. The top 16 schools will be bringing you all the excitement from the pentathlete to see who will be walking to the closer and closer and closer to the grand final. Let's find out. But all that after this short break, this is TV1 Pentathlon season, season two. <laughs> Welcome back to TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. We just got done with a very nail-biting round. The two schools are so close. I don't even want to see the results because it's that close. But it's time now for us to reveal it to you. But before that, let's find out who the Pent Athlete of the day is. And for that, we'd like to request our judges to reveal their verdict. Yes, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate both teams. Here we consider overall performance. It is highlighted the student managed leadership very well and got the risk at the essential time. 
accordingly. Pentathlete of the day goes to Ben Duri from Musius College. Well, thank you very much, judges, for passing out the results as to who the pentathlete is. Well, now the title has been awarded once again. Congratulations to Ben Duri. For the second time running, she has been awarded even in level one and even she's able to back the same in level two and get the title of pentathlete. So I think that deserves a big round of applause to Ben Duri from Music College. Well, we are down to see who will be getting closer to the grand finale of TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Well, just like Krishma said, even she's afraid to see what the results look like because it's something very close, something beyond expectation. Without creating much more buzz, let's get on to the results. At the end of five rounds, here are the results. In the fifth round, we saw Musius College with 45 points and that brought their total up to 258 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, we saw Richmond College goal in the fifth round. They scored themselves 40 points and that brings their total up to 255 points. With that, it's very clear our champions today are Musius College Colombo. Okay, with all that nail-biting finish, it's time for us to say goodbye. But before that, we have a very important thing to do, which is the presentation. Once again, here we have a clear-cut victory and also hats off to the pentathlete. It's time to reward and honor them on this stage. For that, I would like to invite our two judges to come on stage and assist us with the distribution. Well, it's time for us to begin your presentation. First and foremost, it's time for us to recognize the pentathlete second time running in level one and level two as well. Let's put our hands together for Ben Duri for Musis College Columbus. <laughs> well, while we congratulate Ben Duri for winning the pentathlete title, well, always remember that it is level two and getting into level two, surpassing several schools from the entire island is not an easy task. And that is why they are here today in the top 16 schools. So it is of much appreciation and gratitude for all the sleepless nights, which they said, the tireless nights, the, all the efforts, all the stress has worked off well with just a small point difference, not being able to get into the grand finale. But nevertheless, let's all put our hands together for the boys from Richmond College Gold. everything has been said it's time for us to say adios what do we do don't forget to tune in next week same time same channel because we have yet another exciting episode lined up just for you you are watching tv one pentathlon season, season two, two.